So uh, my name is Graham Roberts, and uh, what, where we're at at the moment is the Connemara Smokehouse, uh, which is a small family business started in 1979. Uh, my mum and dad actually started the business back then, and basically what we do here is traditional production of smoked salmon. Uh, mainly, we do some other products as well. We do a beautiful smoked tuna, um, smoked mackerel, traditional kippers. Um, so a lot of different products. But the, the most important thing for us is quality. That's what our whole business is based on, traditional production methods. And that's really what it's all about. We don't sell our products in big supermarkets. Um, we sell them here at the Smokehouse by mail order as well. Um, and uh, we sell them in a few small local shops, things like that. But as I said, basically my mum and dad started the place. My father was a fisherman before that. So a lot of experience goes into what we do. So then what happens, the fish comes in I hand fillet the fish myself, I salt them, I smoke them, so there's a huge consistency and quality uh, in terms of, of the way things are done, and my father would have done that before me. We use different, uh, three different types of salmon here, we use wild, organic and farmed, and the difference I suppose between the three of those, wild is easy, it's wild, uh, it's born in the wild, swims in the wild, caught in the wild, and it's fished for about two months a year over here, is the commercial fishing season. and. Uh, we're, we're lucky to have a few of the, the, the fishing areas where wild salmon is fished are around here, so we're quite lucky in that. At the other end of the scale you have farmed salmon. Now a lot of the time people think of farmed salmon as, as bad, as mass produced. Like everything, there's good and there's bad farming. So that's where it becomes very important to know where you source your fish from. And all of the fish that we use is locally sourced to Irish fish. That's something that's very important for us. The, the farmed salmon is probably only about 5% of what we do. The organic salmon then is something in between, so it's organically farmed, and what that means or where the differences are, the organic salmon that we use, uh, we get from Clare Island, which is just up off Westport, and it's a very, very exposed site, the fish are about six kilometres out into the sea, so it's a huge throughput of water, so much more exercised fish, much leaner flesh, much better quality. Um, the, the second thing is the stocking density. The fish are stocked at a lower density than conventional farmed salmon. So again, more room to swim, better exercise, leaner flesh. Third thing is their diet consists of herring, mackerel, krill. It is fed to them, but it's a natural diet, similar to that diet of the wild salmon. And I suppose the key is that they're allowed to grow at a natural rate. Um, and here we would use about 50% wild fish about 45% organic and about 5% farmed, about that kind of breakdown. Uh, but uh, again, a lot of the fishermen that I work with would be the sons of the fishermen that my father worked with. So there's a great understanding from generation to generation as to what quality fish we're looking for. So fish comes in, they're filleted, little pin bones taken out. They're then traditionally dry salted, which is really important because that takes water out of the fish. Then the salt is washed off after about eight or 10 hours then the fish rest in the fridge overnight and they're ready for smoking the next day. Uh, to smoke the fish we use beech wood and that complements the flavour of the fish the best we feel. Uh, we've used it for about probably 26, 27 years at this stage. Normally speaking, it, 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 I suppose in ideal conditions, about 8 to 10 hours for smoking, followed by 8 to 10 hours for drying. But literally every single day is different. So if for example it's very windy, then the smoke gets pulled up the chimney more quickly. It takes longer to get the same smokiness than on a calm day when the smoke is thick. Similarly, if it's raining, which of course is very unusual in Connemara, uh, it'll take longer to dry the fish than on a hot sunny day. The other thing as well, of course, I mean, I will never be wealthy doing what I do. What, what I'm happy to do is to make a living doing what I enjoy. I genuinely love what I do. Um, I love the reaction we get from people. When you take somebody, it's great to take somebody that likes smoke time and they try your stuff and say, oh geez, yeah, that's nice. You know, but to take somebody that says, no, I don't like smoked salmon, and you ask them why, and they say, because they've had this wet, greasy stuff, and whatever, and you get them to try yours and you convert them. That is such a good feeling to do that. Uh, again, with the tuna, we've had so many people that say they don't like tuna, and they try our smoked tuna or the honey roast tuna. It's like, oh, wow, that's really nice. And so, I, as I said, I genuinely love what I do. I love the reaction we get from people. You know, there's too many businesses out there now trying to make a killing, not a living, and that's wrong. Uh, so for me, I mean, basically, if I can make a living doing what I enjoy, living in a place that I love, that's what it's all about. And, you know, some of my friends will tell me I'm crazy because of the hours I work. You know, like, I, I'm often here at four or five o'clock in the morning. I would like to try and make that a bit more sensible if I can. I don't quite know how. Um, but some of them spend three hours a day in their cars going to jobs they don't like. You know, so who's crazy? 
um, you know but it's uh, I think basically with anything you know stick to what you do and do it well and if you're not going to do it to the best of your ability then don't do it um, and, and particularly with food I think you know because if, if your heart isn't in it then it reflects in the product do you know 